Today, Joseph and Samantha, you stand here holding the hands of your favourite human. Their union and their unlikely meeting is one of the best love stories I have ever heard. It was during lockdown, Samantha was attending Kelly's COVID birthday party. And as for Joseph, well, he was the neighbour that lived at the house behind the fence and he wasn't originally invited. Kelly had the music pumping and Joseph had decided that the music was so good sitting out the back of his place, enjoying the music and enjoying some lockdown drinks himself. The boys climbed with their heads popping over the fence and asked if they could come and join as the party looked like so much fun. They jumped the fence, over they went and they partied the night away. Joseph was pretty pleased when he found out that Samantha was a single hot mum and thought he was going to work his magic. The next thing, Samantha and Joseph woke up in Joseph's bed. Samantha feeling a little sore and sorry for herself, wondering what on earth could she have got up to to be so sore? And Joseph had no idea. So they did what most people do, look back at security cameras to figure out what had happened. There it is, leaping back together over the fence. Joseph leaped it with ease. And then here's Samantha heading over, which then related uh, to three cracked ribs. Sam, I don't really remember how we met. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a three day hangover for me and three cracked ribs for you, but I'll try my best to remember every day to come. It's no surprise to anyone that my life changed a lot and fast when we met. I became a role model and a carer to not only you, but to your son, which has been the best thing by far that has ever happened to me. Joseph, two years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. Damn. You are the most kindest, caring, sensitive human I have ever known. You make me feel wanted and appreciated, and no matter what we have been through the last two years, you always bring the positive light to every situation. The first time I saw you with Ashton was when I knew there was something special about you. To be so warm and nurturing as a young man was something truly amazing and not something I expected. Thank you for showing me what it feels like to be truly loved. I truly believe you are my one and only, my soulmate my dream come true, my everything, my forever and always. So today I make a promise to you to be honest, dependable and supportive, to always give you respect and room to grow and to always have a motorbike in the garage for you. I love you. <laughs> You've brought me so many happy memories so far and I can't wait for all the ones on the way for the five of us. There'll be fun times and there will be not so fun times. Heaps of tears, I'm sure, but I'm hoping they're all going to be as special as the ones we're all sharing right now. I would do anything and everything for you guys. And I can't wait for us to grow this amazing family together. I can't wait to introduce you as my wife. I can't wait to call Ashton my stepson. I can't wait to meet this gorgeous little human you've been making for us. I can't wait to see my last name written behind yours and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I was asked why we're getting married so quickly and that's a very easy question to answer because when you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. I love you. Family and friends, we've exchanged legal vows, beautiful personal heartfelt vows and rings. So it is with absolute great honour that I can now announce them, husband and wife, Joseph, you can kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>